National Mathematics Day is celebrated every year on December 22nd across the nation to celebrate and recognize the works of Srinivasa Ramanujan. It was on this day in 1887 the mathematical genius Srinivasa Ramanujan was born. Now I would like to tell you about few of the famous mathematicians in India. The mathematical genius who was born to a Tamil Brahmin a younger family at a road, Tamil Nadu. Srinivasa Ramanujan, who was also known as the man who knew infinity, did not receive any formal education in mathematics, but made great contribution to the field of mathematics. The mathematical genius made in-depth analysis in order to solve mathematical problems using new concepts and ideas. Then we have Shikuntla Devi. Shikuntla Devi, born on 4th November 1929, was not only an Indian mathematician but also a writer and human calculator, popularly known as the human computer. Her talent earned her a place in the 1982 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records. However, the certificate for the record was given posthumously on July 30th, 2020. Despite Devi achieving her world record on 18th June 1980 at Precocious Child and she demonstrated her arithmetic abilities at the University of Mysore without any formal education. Now we have Aryabhatta. Aryabhatta was mathematician astronomers from the classical age of Indian mathematics and astronomy. The place value system first seen in the 3rd century Bakshali manuscript was clearly in place of his work, while he did not use a symbol for zero. The French mathematician Georges Ifra argues that knowledge of zero was implicit in Aryabhatta's place value system as a place holder for the powers of 10 with null coefficients. And last but not the least, we have Bhaskara. Bhaskara was an Indian mathematician and astronomer who was born in Bijapur, Karnataka. His work on calculus and how it is applied to astronomical problems and computation is what made him immensely popular. Not just calculus, Bhaskara was also expert in arithmetic, algebra, the mathematics of planets and spheres. Hi Bhakti, how are you? I'm fine. It's just that my studies are bothering me and especially math. Oh, don't worry, it's not a big deal. You can ask your teachers to clear your doubts. They will definitely help you. I asked, but I can't really keep up with all those formulas at the same time. Oh, I see. You know, my teacher always helps me to learn those formulas by some simple tips and tricks. Let me introduce you to her. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, she's my friend Bhakti. She's having a problem in learning all the formulas. Can you help her? Yeah, sure. Come, I'll help you. Tell me, where are you having from? Mom, I'm quite slow at multiplication and I'm also quite slow at the mental math. No mind. Look here. I will teach you some tricks to solve multiplication questions, okay? For example, we have 11 multiplied by 43. How do we solve this thing? Remember, whenever in multiplication with 11, we have a two-digit number, then the product will automatically become three-digit. Or, if we have a three-digit number, then the product will become four-digit and so on. In this case, we have 33, which is a two-digit number. The last digit is three. So in the product as well, the last digit we will write is three. The first digit as well is three, so the starting will also be three. Now, the number in between will actually be the sum of these two numbers, that is, three plus three, which is equal to six. So in all, the product of 11 into 33 will be 363. I hope you got it. Yes, ma'am. So ma'am, how can we square the numbers which are more than one digit in an easy method? Now another trick. Suppose we have to find out the square of a number ending in 5. How do you calculate it then? See, remember, the product in this case will always end with 25, whether it is a 2-digit number or a 3-digit number or so on. For example, let us take 105 into 105. We know that the last two digits have to be 25. Now the remaining portion we will get by multiplying 10 with its successor that is 11 and the product will be 110. So all in all, the square of 105 will be 11,025. 
See, so simple it is. I hope you got it. Thank you, ma'am. It really helped. I hope these tricks might have helped you or may help you in coming time. So this was the summary by the students of class 19 on the occasion of National Mathematics Day. Thank you.